Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now, and today I'm gonna take you through how to use classes in Node.js. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So I'm gonna create a new folder on my desktop, and I'm gonna name it. Uh, let's say Oops, because we are gonna understand all or most of the Oops concept with using Node.js. So this is the simplest uh, uh, kind of uh, index.js where I'm gonna create. Uh, or normal functions classes methods okay so yeah so i'll be creating class let's say the parent class okay or we can say previous class okay where you can create a constructor inside that constructor you can call anything okay where let's say if you have a this dot name you can initialize the variables like uh, my name is mahesh let's say and after that you can say get name function where we can return something like uh, my name okay where you can return my name is uh let's say mahesh so here you can use this dot name like this so yeah this is this is uh it i guess so after that here if you wanna call this thing you you will use uh, log okay so console log will be uh here you can assign the variable first to let's say prev will be equal to new prev okay and here i'm gonna use prev dot uh, uh, get name let's say so this is the simplest example of uh, using class okay let me use command plus j or you can use control plus backtick if you are on windows okay and here we go after that i'll be using nodebond to run my index.js and here you can see my name is mahesh okay and after that uh, i'm assuming you are gonna use inheritance over here for that you can create another class let's say next okay so in that next you can create the constructor as well which will be extended by previous class so if i remove all the things from here okay let me comment this out and here let me create another variable next and this will be my another class next okay so now i'm gonna use with using next i can access the get name you can see here from here okay so i'm not using anything over here but at the same time you can see i'm getting this message now let's say if you wanna uh, use get name here as well okay so what you will do overloading and overriding let's say so this time my name is mahesh is coming from next okay so now you can see this is coming from next so i have used this same method name over here as well so now we can see the difference okay now i'm assuming if you don't want to pass anything if you don't if you are not passing anything over here okay so let's say this dot name that you're passing from your constructor let's say from here to here okay sounds good and let's say i'm gonna pass mahesh from here okay so you can see i'm passing name from here to here and here to here so this is the simplest thing we can say and after that uh if you if you are not uh like familiar with this thing what you can do is uh you can use the default thing as well like if you don't have the name then you can use the default name as well but let me do first thing now i'm assuming if you wanna use constructor over here okay let's say so if you want to access these things or this method over here so what you will do is you will use super keyword okay and let me go back to normal mahesh let's say and if i don't want to pass this thing over here so what i'll do is i'll simply go here okay uh, where am i yeah you can see the super super will automatically call uh, your parent things like this get name okay like this 
now i'll be using console log here to print this thing okay so now let me see you can see the message over here okay so this time i'm let me not use this thing here okay and let me comment this out so see my name is mahesh is coming from here so this constructor will get called once you once you call this thing okay after that this will call with the help of super you can access this method over here so this is the simplest example that i have gave you now if you don't want to use this thing over here okay if you want this thing to be private so what you will do is you will use static keyword okay so you will get the error immediately so let's say this is is not a function it is not accessible over here so you can use static keyword as well and there are other keywords as well that you can choose to use okay for now this is it uh with respect to classes let me see the examples let me show you one more thing if you want to use a multiple files okay let's say next.js after that you you might need a prev.js okay or uh, then you might need the class where you will import all the classes dot js let's say okay so let me grab quickly now uh, my prev let's say so this is my prev that i'm gonna put this here i'll be using normal module dot exports or you can use babel as well okay now i'll be using next here okay so i'll be using next over here and let me use module dot exports uh here okay this is my next that i'm using here so this is it now you can import this thing over here let me use control plus space to grab this thing okay and let me use this thing over here as well i need to import this thing prev so yeah this is it how uh, we have used you can see the same message now you can do one more thing if you want to import all the things over here and if you want to use module dot exports uh you can now directly like use this thing where you can pass next okay next equal to require next and prev equal to require prev okay like that so this is also a cool thing that you can use like instead of doing this what you can do is you can simply call classes okay like this so this will be uh i you can use this thing let me remove this thing okay so yeah this is it i guess uh so now we can proceed with the further examples let's say express express example okay because mostly we use uh, functions uh, in express app so let me quickly show you guys how i can use it with the help of express so npm init happen why npm install express okay let me use const express equals to require express okay then let me use const app equal to express then you can use app dot use okay where i'll be using express dot json dot json or anything else after that i'll be using app dot get quickly okay where i'll be using uh normal slash and here request response and res dot json quickly uh, where i'll be returning message hello world that's it an app dot listen uh, where you'll be using port 3000 this is it so let me uh, use this thing in terms of classes what we'll do is we'll create a server quickly like this and we'll use a constructor and inside that constructor you can say i'll be having one uh this dot in it okay where i'll initialize something then you will be having this dot use middlewares middlewares okay where you can use middlewares then you can use add routes let's say 
okay then you can say this dot listen server like that you can use multiple things but let's say in init you'll be having something in use middleware you'll be having something now uh, after that in routes you can add further things okay uh after that what will have listen server then this is it so in in it i don't have anything for now but uh, i have middleware one middleware will i'll use middleware over here uh, then i'll be using this get message over here okay in routes okay now i'll be using this server over here okay you can use the according to your choice this is just a basic example okay if you want to know more things you can like uh use uh, like multiple things like here i'll be using new server simply and this is it i guess uh, and uh, i hopefully it should work so yeah uh, i'm still getting this index so let me quickly stop this thing so express.js so the yeah, server is started on port 3000 so this is the basic uh, thing that i have told you guys you can pass the app directly over here as well if you don't want to do the such things app dot this so instead of app you can use this keyword as well uh i hope most of the things basic things of classes we have covered already okay so thank you very much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and if you enjoyed please like this video and share this video thank you so much have a great day bye bye